Why, Valerie? Why do you hate me? Is it my clothes, the cars, and nights out? Or is it me? Tell me, is it because I can't give you the life you want? Financial security or stability. Tell me, is it because you want something that isn't mine? Be honest with me, and I promise I'll never bother you again. Is that how you only perceive me? What about my peace, my happiness and my freedom? I mean, don't get me wrong. You seem like a great guy. But aren't you like everyone else? Like every other man with their shortcoming. What do you supposedly do with your life? <laughs> You're just another reckless boy, man, with the desire to only have fun, to have it all and to have everything go your way. Tell me, Carmelo, how do you expect to take responsibilities and provide for your own life, let alone somebody else's life? All you care about are your short-term physical needs, your racing desires, having more women around you, hanging around, wasting your time and effort with people who don't care about you or love you, people who only care for their own sake. Maybe your life would be more meaningful if your abilities were used elsewhere with the right people. I am surely not a trophy to be won and I don't share any of your desires. I have values and I know my worth. And I'm not like these other girls that you fantasize about. You think men are immature for chasing what they want? Tell me, how many men are there that are any different from me? Hmm? All men are reckless, controlling, dishonest, keeping secrets for the sake of their own needs and benefits. That's how men survive and prevail. Most women, most women want security, yet they always end up with disobedient or tycoon men. So I do what I gotta do to survive. Aren't most women just as manipulative? Huh? Pretending to be living a luxury lifestyle or physically concealing themselves with makeup or using their looks and sex appeal and emotions to get what they want from men? Aren't they just as bad as everybody else? There it is. You just pointed it out. You just think all women are the same. I'm only specifically talking about you and here you are comparing me to all other women. I mean, maybe you make a good point about some females, but then so what? I don't know all men, but there is one man who I've always known, who also happens to be my father, a great man. If you're any different, why do you spend so much time doing the things that you deep down know well enough won't bring you purpose or happiness? <sighs> this universe, our generation, those before and so on, all have different lifestyles and their own way of expression. The difference between me and you is that I do what my heart tells me to do, no matter whether it's painful or not. I don't understand why any of us would want to get together in the first place only to end up in fights. <sighs> why get together if we're continuously getting into fights, breaking up, making up, playing these games with each other? We don't need that. You and I both could go our separate ways without needing or having to break a sweat. You need to get out of your head. Calm down a little. I can't see the future and I'm sure you can't either. Look, I want you and I want to commit to you. But at the same time, I'm scared of a lifetime of what could be misery. Hell, raising kids and all ain't easy and half the time marriages end in divorce. Life feels short. So why not live life right here, right now? I live life like it is, not how I like it to be. You know, I, I can't be sure, but I do know I want to spend my life with you. I do. Perhaps there's good waiting for us further down the road. You know what? Go ahead. You are free, Camelo. Do whatever you need. Do whatever you've got to do with anybody that you want. 
I am not going to pull out my heart and soul for anyone. I'm not into playing games. You know what? You seem afraid of long-term commitment and misery anyway. Valerie, baby, <laughs> maybe we misunderstood each other. Look, we can make this work, yeah? I can, no, will do. I will give you my all. Anything you want, you name it. I'll, I'll ditch the clubs, cars and booze, just please make up your mind on me. Are your intentions pure in the first place? Do you have positive thoughts? Even if you can't foresee the unknown circumstances and beyond? You know what? I'll leave you to it. In peace. Goodbye, Mr. Carmelo.